What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Pallet Shop, and today we got another episode of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's been a little while since we've been back onto this series, <coughs> but excuse me. But it's been a good one. Sure, it's been a good one. Oh, I did not mean to do that. But yeah, so basically, where did we leave off last time? Let me think. Anybody want to remind me? No, I'm just kidding. I know exactly what happened. So, basically, we went to, um, to Richter. And this time, we're going to do things differently. Because last time, we beat Richter and we got the bad ending. And you're not actually supposed to beat Richter. That's not the true ending of this game. Uh, you know, that's, that's what's really cool about it. If, uh, I had never really heard about this game before playing it, I would have probably thought that I beat the game normally, but I already knew that I hadn't beaten it normally. But I did have to figure out how to actually, like, do it on my own. Like, how to actually get to the real fight, which is kind of hard. I don't even know how I did it, but to this day, you know, just something. So anyway, yeah, so now that we have these two items right here, the gold ring and the silver ring, we can go to a certain area which will give us a certain item which will let us get the better ending. But there's a catch to the better ending. It's going to take a lot more work than just getting an item. So anyway, I'll see you guys at the destination. Alright guys, so we finally made it back to the clock, which is going to bring us to this cutscene. Now that we have walked into this room with the silver and the gold ring equipped, it'll activate this cutscene, and as you can see, both of them head straight down onto the six. Just kind of messed with my head, but um, yeah, as you'll see, we can now go down. And you're kind of wondering, like, what is this area? You know, well, this area is what I was talking about a second ago, where we're gonna get the item. And if you thought this was a little weird, it's gonna get a lot weirder. So yeah, let me just hit a quick save. Have a card? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry, you were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here, take these with you. What are oh, these? Yeah. If you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Super Thank you. Man. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. How did you get these? It's best if you pay for the soul of your friend. Ho ho ho. He's gonna die. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that item right there is gonna help us help Richter. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back over there. Waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century. And my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. If those are your true feelings, then so be it. They are not his true feelings. Oh, so I'm trying to, uh, yeah. 
Let's freeze him real quick. We gotta freeze him. Oh, fuck. We gotta hit that orb. I'm just trying to freeze him so he can stay off of me. Richter, I'm gonna save you, bro. There we go. Broken on the curse. defeated me, but all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count and this Dracula is the true is enemy of this game. <laughs> the true enemy. No. What have I done? Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. He's really Alucard. an actor. He's actually a really the good The same player. Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. And yeah, he's just gonna automatically go there. I'm not as good as Rom Scout. Shout out to Rom Scout. I'm not as good at doing stuff as him. Nowhere near. So I can never pull off that trick. I don't even know if you can do it on here, but. Alright. So. Mm, holy water. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I want it. If I have this, then we'll be set for a second. So yeah, welcome to the reverse castle. Basically, it's the regular castle. Yeah, I think the stopwatch is gonna come in handy. So. Completely upside down. Oops. Keep doing that on accident, man. And yeah, go ahead and get some free HP up, some free max up, I mean, some free uh, heart max up, you know what I mean? Nice and dark. in my heart's left and right. Medusa, I don't even hold up. We need a good uh, shield. We have a really good shield laying around. Alucard shield. The night shield. That might that might help. That might be the one we're looking for. Okay, so there's a trick about the shield rod. If you press the attack button and the shield button at the same time, it'll do a special move. So hopefully I can just wipe out Medusa here. Okay, that's not what I wanted. So let's see what other shields I have. I need, a, I need something that's going to fucking bust their ass around. Yeah. Don't have that many 
see it's uh... Okay. Okay, so that sucked. Oh man. I do have the shaman shield, but I don't know what that really is gonna do. So So I don't have any OP shields against him now. Good lord, girl, you just took a damn car grow. Oh my goodness. I'm about to switch my weapon. Oh, I got you now. I have straight up got you now. She's not even doing any damage, that's the funny part. No damage. I'm gonna fucking hit you with these flame balls. Wow, no hit. Alright, alright, you know what? Let me fucking switch the weapon. Do I have anything like holy or anything? Star flail's good. Yep, that's gonna that's gonna clap. That is gonna clap. Yep. Very nice. So yeah. we'll get the heart of Vlad. Motherfuckers. Good lord. Hold on, let's see. It's
Save. Let's see if we can take on one more boss this, this uh, episode. Oh, you know what? Hold up. Let me head to the right. Yeah. So, basically, the story is uh, in Castlevania 3, you can play as three different characters, actually four different characters, Grant, Trevor, I mean Trevor, Grant, Sypha, and uh, Alucard, and basically, you know, you fight against Dracula and stuff, you have to go through a big, long map with the Dracula, I'll play the game eventually, but yeah, basically, what you see right here are the zombie versions of those guys. They're basically going to be evil. So, get ready. This is a hell of a boss fight. I'll probably die. Yeah, Trevor. It's kind of like Victor in a way. Holy water. Don't really have to worry about Grant, because all Grant can do is drop his knives. But yeah. suicide on the ground in here. Hit him with a few spells and bop. Okay. Yeah, I might die here, you know? This is gonna be a hard fight. Hold up. If I. I mean, it's not gonna really. Alright, let's see if I can just knock him out really quick. Let me just switch our. Oh, you know, we might as well heal. Oh, Claymore, that's a two handed sword. It's gonna be sort of slow, but. It might be able to... Oh, and we have the Herald Shield. Hold up here. That is going to be great with uh, the Shield Rod. Let me try that with the Shield Rod. Gosh, I always pass by stuff. Right? It's literally right here. Oh, fire? Oh, that's not gonna matter. God, lord. You know, we're learning stuff, though. Um, no, you're gonna let me get to the- Wow, did, did they just- Did they just freeze my food? That was not to be frozen, you motherfucker. Okay, hold up. You freaking dickheads. I will use all of my different weapons on you. Man, 
trying to go ahead and get rid of her. Cypher's dead. Basically, just have good old. And that's it. Alright. Moving on. Yeah, Cypher really likes to use her ice, so I had a feeling that the fire would move on. The fire protection wouldn't matter. 